BYD says it has well over 10,000 cars that are now in Europe, and it's going to triple its market share in Europe. It doesn't care what the European Union says about any kind of penalties against it. BYD is saying, you know what? We're coming to Europe. We're already here. We've got thousands and thousands and thousands of cars here. They're even sending new car ships as well to Europe. What this means is very good chance BYD are going to reduce the cost price or the sale price of their cars in Europe. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. BYD plan on tripling their market share in Europe. I actually think this won't be very hard for BYD to do. The market share in Europe right now is it's pretty small. So this is actually a very, very realistic goal. Now, BYD, are, they're currently facing some challenges in Europe. There's no question about that. There's been a report come out recently. There's been a a fair few problems with BOD vehicles, but and I'm talking about in Europe, by the way. But that's that aside, I think those things are things that BYD can easily overcome. BYD began selling vehicles in Europe or EVs in Europe in 2021. They began in Norway, as it would make sense, right? But that was three years ago. So far, BYD have only sold 15,644 cars all across Europe, and that's according to from Data Force. That means it has a 1% share of Europe's EV market. So BYD want to increase that to 3 or 4%. Uh, the company says they're just getting started in the region. And realistically, I agree. BYD can easily get 3 4 maybe even 5% this year. And they need to this year because sales of cars in China are dropping. No question about that. EV sales are continuing to take a, a high percentage of market share. But car sales in China... They're under a lot of strain right now. You've got Japanese companies. Nissan is saying they're going to slow down production in China. It, there's, a, there's obviously an economic crisis going on there. In an interview with Automotive News Europe, BYD said that they are discovering how Europeans respond to the, the brand's technology products and services. Europe is very different from other key auto markets like China or the United States with several legislations and languages. Now, Shu said increasing sales will take time, and it expects to gain EV market share in Europe this year, though. BYD is saying they actually want to increase their market share to 5%. So that's actually five times their market share. Five times. That's, that's a pretty big, big deal. And keep in mind, BYD, eventually they won't have to worry about any sanctions. And the reason is because they're currently building an electric car factory in Hungary, and that will actually be producing EVs in 2026. It'll build electric cars and battery packs. So yeah, I mean, BYD, they're really coming for Europe. And if you're a European car manufacturer, you've got to be pretty concerned. BYD, BYD's European uh, chief said that once production begins in Europe, we will be closer to customers offering faster deliveries and people can trust us more. It will be Europe for Europe. Now, Obviously, people in Europe might agree or disagree with that. I don't know. It depends on your perspective because a lot of people in Europe still don't know who BYD are. The Hungary plant will be able to build around 150,000 vehicles a year with the ability to double output to 300,000 at some point in the future. Now, Shu from BYD, she said that the product is premium. Our price is mainstream. So we call this affordable premium. Now, do you guys agree with that? Do you agree that BYD's product is premium? I think some of their product is definitely premium. Some of it is not. It really depends on the car you're talking about. Like, for example, the cheapest Seagull or the cheapest Dolphin, I don't think you'd call those premium, but BYD has some really, really very amazing uh, premium priced cars, like the new Yang Wang vehicles, the new supercar, definitely premium there. But yeah, what do you guys think about the mainstream Addo 3, the Seal? Would you say that's premium? Anyhow, BYD showcased off some of their vehicles at the recent Geneva Auto Show, um, and it said it was testing the market's reaction. BYD's next-gen EVs and plug-in hybrids are set to hit the European market. One of those is the Seal U. Now, the Seal U is actually a plug-in hybrid. However, there is also an electric car version, which has gone to Europe, it's going to be similar to a Volkswagen ID4, similar to a Tesla Model Y. It's really going after the Tesla Model Y, which obviously has by far the biggest market share of any EV in Europe. Range will be around 500 kilometers on the WLTP cycle, and it can charge, they say quick charge, 30 to 80% in 26 minutes. Now, it's not really quick, but yeah, that's what fast charging 
for the seal yield is. It's 30 to 80 percent in 26 minutes in ideal conditions. Now despite just adding a U to the name, the electric SUV has really, um, it's very different to the BYD seal. It's called the seal U, but yeah, they're totally different cars. And apparently, BYD say it's designed specifically for Europe or um, also it's on a new platform. So it's not using the same platform as the Seal. It's not using the same platform as the Dolphin or the Addo 3. It's a brand new platform, they say. Now, the Addo 3 was um, BYD's best seller in Europe last year. 12,363 of those were sold in Europe. The Dolphin was second with 1,000 sold, followed by the Tang. Uh, that's mostly sold in Norway. The Han, 850. The Seal, 284. And the CLU so far, 11 have been delivered. But of course, it's a brand new vehicle. But guys, I think BYD has a good shot at this, but it's going to take them a few years. It's just not a known brand in Europe. MG, they're the only successful brand so far in Europe. And the reason is because people they have heard of MG. They think they're British. They're obviously not, but they think they are. So they feel like they have a bit more trust there. It's going to take BYD a little while to do that in Europe. People in Europe, they're, they're not like, um, they're a bit more, um, I would say, Used to tradition. You know, tradition's important. What are your thoughts, though? Let me know in the comments, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.